Hello, collective. Welcome to Collectively Chosen. I'm Miss Kelly coming to you with your peek at this week message. Oh, guys, what do you have for the collective? Thank you guys so much for being patient while well, I've been revamping some things. Okay. So, let's see. We have misunderstanding. Betray, reject, oath of the moon, and then we have wooing, okay. The bottom of the deck, we have seeking help. So, <coughs> excuse me, I feel this energy of, there could have been some sort of misunderstanding between you and someone where the interpretation is that someone was betrayed uh, or someone felt betrayed because someone felt rejected. Um, somebody did firmly reject someone. <coughs> Excuse me. Someone could have been, um, had a change of heart when it came to a love situation here. So somebody could have got some sort of misinformation I want to see what this is about. Uh, what deck do I want to use? Ow. They scratched my scalp. Okay. Let's see. Let me use this baby one minute. Okay. Give me something here for misunderstanding. Clarify misunderstanding. But somebody is going to come in and want to tell you how they feel about you. Too many. Misunderstanding. The Hermit. We deal with a Virgo. There you are. <clears throat> yeah, somebody could have had another lover. Could have ghosted you for another lover. Ace of Swords, what I'm telling you is the truth. Okay. So someone wants to give you some sort of truth. They want to change. Make some sort of change in the situation. But they feel as though you may block them out. Five of Swords. As a way of revenge. So someone is getting some sort of... So somebody could be talking to someone. Trying to get some advice. <coughs> Excuse me. Somebody could be talking to a Libra. Possibly. Give me a little bit more on this Hermit. Nine of Cups. Somebody feels as though that too, you can like being alone, spending a lot of time to yourself. Okay. Someone's definitely, oh, I just heard possibly even had two families for somebody here. Or oh, was breadcrumbing someone in a situation? Someone could have told someone flat out that they just weren't happy and they didn't want to be with the other one anymore. But someone wants something to change. King of Pentacles. This might be the night, let me see. Give me more on this. Ooh. So someone may be <laughs> afraid that you will walk away if they come towards you. Um, they both of these came up. And I feel like you're going to realize like immediately 
So this person is trying to make some sort of a truth. <coughs> Excuse me. Trying to move things onto like a calmer water. So this is someone you had an argument with. They don't want to come in and argue. They want to have a conversation. They do. They would like to have a conversation with you. Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Oh no, that's the King of Cups. Somebody could have walked away. Seven of Coins. Made an offer and invested somewhere else. Could be in a marriage. Three of Swords. Four wands and the death. Someone is walking away from either living with someone or a marriage here. Someone is following their emotions, yes, to go off into a new connection. Wow, that just flipped in the reverse. Seven of Swords. Something is going to be revealed. There's a truth that's going to be revealed here. Somebody is going to tell the truth that they're not happy in a situation anymore in order to be able to move forward with the chariot here. Yeah, and look, the death. With the three of swords. But I take it that this somebody's going to have to take some time to heal. Some of you, this could be a same-sex situation. Two masculines. Page of Swords, Five of Cups. Five of Swords. Somebody wanted somebody to be heartbroken. Like, or somebody wants revenge for being heartbroken. Could be an empress. So somebody may have a bitter child mother or wife. That they're trying to possibly... <clears throat> Excuse me. Stop this person from coming towards you. Whoever this is, they're very sure of what they want. Okay? This emperor energy, they're taking control of their life. Now, what I do see is the emperor and the queen of wands could be dealing with the Aries here. Somebody could be walk, saving their money to walk away from the Aries. Well, this is to be the same person as Aries or this father figure walking away from this empress. Yeah. Because somebody's going to have to make a decision on whether they're going to reconcile with someone or not. But I feel like, so. okay. So somebody could be afraid to come towards the other. Whoever's leaving the relationship could be afraid of coming towards whoever this other person is that they have feelings for. But they may be afraid that if they make this person an offer, they're going to leave them out in the cold. Because this could be someone who, yeah, look, was a knight of, I mean, a nine of wands. I don't know. I did see the four of pentacles. And then with the Five of Pentacles, they may be afraid that you are, like, good with being single. If you're single, they feel like that you're okay being single. It's like, I don't know. They get this interpretation like you like living the single life. What is this advice that they're getting? What is this advice that they're getting? Okay. The Magician. Okay. So somebody is telling them to not come at you with negative energy. If they're going to manifest you back here with the magician and the devil in the reverse, if they're going to manifest you back here, then they need to come towards you correctly. If they don't want you to have like some sort of anxiety, <clears throat> excuse me, when dealing with them or the situation.
if they want to win. Look, K. Oh my gosh, K. Make it up. Six ones with the Ace of Pentacles. If they want to say give you another offer, this person is going to have to come at you correct and come with something tangible as well. You know, um, this person feels as though they do that they would have to. They see you as this Queen of Pentacles, towards Virgo Capricorn energy, and they want to reconcile with you. Whatever this is, is going to hit you unexpectedly. This is something you're going to have to temper yourself when this comes back. This could be a past person. Look at this, Ace of Staff. What I tell you, you're going to have to, what I'm telling you is the truth. You have to temper yourself when this person comes back. Is letting go. Okay. What oracle do you have? Good oh, Gemini. Love oracle do you have? Mm -mm. Oh, I, did I say for Gemini? Love. For the collective. Sorry. <laughs> Beware of codependency. Addictive behaviors are affecting your romantic life. So if you have like uh, like smoking, drinking, you know, your person may have their things that they don't particularly care for. So you y'all may differ in that way. All right, unconditional love. The love between. Oh, sorry, overthinking. Playing negative scenarios in your head is creating issues which weren't there at first. Unconditional love. The love between you and your person is eternal. Nothing and no one can take it away from you. So regardless of what's going on, Spirit wants you to be in the present and not focus so much on the past, okay? Or think too ahead in the future, all right? Yeah. You will attract love by enjoying your life as it is. Wherever you are, be all there. And then we have magnetic connection and true love. There's a strong pull and intensity that draws you to this person. This is the romantic. This is the romance of a lifetime. True and lasting love is here for you. And then we have reaching your goal. Everything you want from this connection will manifest in the near future. Okay. And then we have have faith behind that. So the angels are working behind the scenes to make this relationship flourish. Okay. Um but open your eyes so if someone shows you who they are believe them the first time okay but you do not allow this to make you afraid to put yourself out there and love again all right let's get a couple messages reciprocity i want to have equal give and take so again if this is someone they didn't invest like they should have i'm struggling to find my right path so this person could be going through some sort of uh journey themselves but they feel as though they still have hope they haven't given up on the connection okay but they feel very unsure about where you all stand and somebody wants some sort of clarity because they feel as though they can't they're not going to Find someone else like you in this lifetime. Self-love. Still trying to heal. Okay. So you and this person is both. Y'all both are hurting from the separation. Yeah, look. Came right back out. I'm hearing damage. The song Damage. The conversation. I want to tell. I want to call and hear your voice. So this person is really missing you. 
this person feel like y'all have a soul contract and they would feel like if they continue to hold back okay and you know not work on this having this because i feel like this person they feel as though you're too good for them or you don't need them okay so this could be someone who feels as though you don't need them for anything they may be used to people who are codependent and you're not that yeah and you help them see their flaws you know they could have been used to relationships where their person depended on them a lot and you're just not that person um and that could be something that kind of bruises this person ego yeah i let my pride get in the way of our connection um but this person feels like no matter how far you guys are away from each other, how long you guys are away from each other, that at the end of the day, <laughs> y'all are connected to one another. But y'all may have different values. So there's something standing in the way. Give me more on this values. So somebody feel like you have unfinished business. They're reflecting on how somebody could have just packed up and just stopped speaking when things got hard okay somebody wishing that they write they could write their wrongs if they were given the opportunity i'm not gonna lie to you if they were given an opportunity to chase you at this point they would and i wouldn't want them to chase i would say if you want to yep look soul tie daydreaming told you um dishonesty they know their lies ripped you all's connection apart but they want to make up. They want your forgiveness here, collective. So this person is getting advice. And they're being told, if you want the collective back, you're going to have to come at them with something real and tangible. You don't have to go all out, but something real and tangible. And you need to definitely... Not go with the neck, not come with the negativity, and know what it is that you want. Period. Irreplaceable, unfinished business. Told you the way you love this person can't be matched. They regret whatever happened between you two. They totally regret it. New chapter. So one of you are trying to move on. Then I say somebody here was unsatisfied with what they were getting in the connection. Someone wanted a commitment. They want someone wanted a firm foundation. This person may be coming back towards you with a commitment. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's see. Can you give us a time frame? When would this happen for the collective? You can find all the answers within. Five months from now. Expect the unexpected. Trust your intuition. Ten. I feel like something will be closing out. Between five to ten months. Or October. Which is where we are now. So October 5th could be significant, okay? Ask for help. If you need help with something, you need to open your mouth and ask because there's potential here. Something next fall, you can do it. You can win if you want, okay? So something significant as well about April. So Spirit is saying it's better not knowing the answer so you can allow the miracles to unfold. Okay. So that's what I have for you, Collective. I hope these messages help. Please like, share, subscribe to the channel. If these messages resonate with you at all, I appreciate all the love and support and the patience and understanding that you guys give. It's unmatched, and I appreciate you. Okay. So love you guys and gals. See you in your next one. Peace.